This footage forwarded to us from Danto Uma shows the harsh reality these migrants face, reaching shore and safety in overcrowded dinghies, men, women and children. This is the work Dan and the Atlantic Pacific International Rescue Boat Project have been doing, as well as other NGOs, helping people where they can. And while to some these people could easily have been another statistic, they are the lucky ones who made it. This happens almost daily, and it's become so commonplace that there are different routes. Migration and the, uh, the mass movement of people is not only linked to war, it's intrinsically linked with climate change, economics and war. I feel like Europe is essentially burying its head in the sand, trying to do what it can at the moment with the numbers that we have. We've seen the tip of the iceberg. This is increasing and it will increase. If one route is closed, you will see an increase in other routes. A recent report revealed that the number of migrants crossing into Spain by sea from North Africa has doubled this year from last year, outpacing the Libya-Italy route as the fastest growing entry point to Europe. The United Nations Refugee Agency says this spike is already putting a lot of stress on Spain's inefficient migration structures. More than 360,000 refugees and migrants arrived on European shores across the Mediterranean last year. Some 6,000 have died trying to make it to Europe in the last 20 years. Dan says in his experience he has seen rescue services struggle with helping migrants and his hope is to try and help authorities here in Gibraltar to at least have a plan in place and be prepared due to the unpredictable nature of this crisis. He referenced an incident last summer where several Moroccan nationals were arrested after an inflatable boat carrying suspected immigrants from North Africa wound up in Catalan Bay, adding this kind of activity will increase in this area.